Strong emotions of any kind can activate it. Your words could be the curse's source. She took the poison. Because of them. Yeah. Sorry to tell you this, mate, but it was only a sleeping potion. Which then she woke up later paralyzed, surrounded by a bunch of rats, and got eaten by rats as she couldn't move. That is an even worse way to die. It wasn't poison. Annabelle drank a strong sleeping potion. Mage wanted to protect her, make it look like she was dead. Convinced everyone. But that means... is she... you said you spoke to her? Spoke to her ghost. By the time she awoke, Tower was full of cold corpses. And rats. She was warm meat. Rats ate her alive. Didn't need to tell him that. She was alive the whole time, but... It can't be. She was cold all through like a corpse. I shook her, begged to open your eyes. I never thought... Yeah, there's no way you could have known, dude. It's a very good magical potion to make it look like she was dead. It's not your fault. No guilt in not knowing, and you couldn't know it wasn't poison she drank. Gods, what have I done? If I had stayed behind to bury her, I'd have noticed she was alive. It might have ended different, ended well. If you'd stayed on the island, I doubt you'd have survived. I'd take death over leaving her to the rats like that. <sighs> but there's naught I can do about it now. Wrong on that count. Actually, if you would have stayed behind and buried her properly, there's a chance that you would have actually buried her alive, thus she would have died in the ground. Annabelle needs you. You can help her. She's still there. In the tower. Can I see her? Yeah. One thing you should know, though. In death, Annabelle turned into a pester. A pester? What's that? More than a restless ghost. A plague maiden. A powerful wraith filled with grief and hatred that drive her. Give her the power to sow disease and death. She suffers. How am I to help her? Gods know I'm willing. Annabelle thinks you abandoned her. Love can shatter the power of the curse. Annabelle thinks you abandoned her. Gods! She hates me. And all this time she's thought I ran, abandoned her. Yes, go to the tower, talk to her. Maybe you can convince her that's not how it was. I thought she died. I'd never have left her there otherwise. Yeah. But love can... A curse has imprisoned it. Annabelle and the other spirits on the island. Love can shatter its power, free her and them. Just as in the legends. If you know the legends, you know one kiss is enough to break an evil spell. On one condition. That it's a kiss from someone whose love is true. I told you. I said I love her with all my heart. Take me to her, please. It's dangerous. There are risks involved. Understand that, don't you? Of course. I'm no coward. I'll not run this time. I don't need to meet you there. Let's just go. Nothing. Let's go. I'm ready. I'll take the uh, free teleport Let's go back. to the tower. Okay. Uh, so you're... Not... Outside. No, I don't need to attack the target. Why did you switch to the crossbow again? I want... The lamp. So, yeah. Last time I brought the bones of her to him, and in her rage... She killed him and was freed as a plague maker. Oh! Okay. There are a bunch of wraiths here now. We wandered this place because of you! Oh. I've waited long enough for revenge. And now he comes to us on his own. Right, right, right. They're the wraiths of Don't people. Don't be afraid. You'll be fine. That are trapped here. I killed you. Apparently I didn't. Come on. Come over here so I can kill you. Okay. So those two Last dead. I came through here, I still hoped Anna better move. It weren't impossible. We could have been together, and now she's dead. And it's my fault. If only I'd been able to protect her. Can't change the past. But you can still help Annabelle to move on, That's to rest in peace. 
Oh, it's right. terrifying here. It's too quiet. Chop, chop. Speed up. Let's get this over with. I remember the screams. Inhuman they were. Now it's silent. They're dead. All dead. Don't think about that. Keep walking. So there's no fight here. So I need to get to the top to actually introduce Graham to her. But yeah, this... The mage here was not a pleasant fellow. He was experimenting on people to cure a disease, which is very immoral and wouldn't be taken, wouldn't be allowed if the Council of Mages was still around and if they had known about it. But there is no more Council of Mages, and they probably wouldn't have known about it anyway. And then on top of that, uh, the war existed, so the peasants decided to try and attack the nobles because they thought they were hoarding food and supplies. And we're screwing over the peasants. And Graham was known. And yeah, sad story all around, but let's get to the lab at the top. Is she, is she going to be in a talking mood? You have not forgotten. You've returned for me. Is. is. is that. Don't you recognize me? It's me, Annabelle. The one you abandoned, remember? Annabelle? I... I was sure you was dead. If I'd known otherwise, I should never have left you. I'd do anything for you. I would. You know that well. Believe me, I beg you. Prove it. Kiss me. Ugh. That's Graham, one hell of a careful. space to kiss. She's kind of missing a lower jaw. I wonder if this will actually work. Or if she's just gonna kill him. Oh. She killed him to be with him forever and ever, and that's the curse is lifted, deep. and Graham and Annabella are reunited. Well, that hmm. Hmm. So, like many of the fairy tales that exist in our world, they kind of this was a blah. So this was not the best of endings, um, but it was an ending. The true lover's kiss did break the curse, but it caused the death of the living member of the lovers, and they are together forever in uh, the dead kind of fashion. So, like many of the Witcher's interpretations of our fairy tales. They're very dark. Very, very dark. I got page one of his research notes. I'm guessing there are more. I just need to find them. And I don't know if... There's also a locked area. I don't know if I can... Hmm, find the key for it? I know I found... Oh, here's another page. Page two. Day 346. Oh man, you were doing this for so long. I never did like rats. Not because of their obscene tales, but rather on account of their lively, disturbing intelligence. They are always listening when a man believes he is talking only to himself. And what's worse, they seem to understand. A few days ago, I caught myself talking to one of them to a large black male with a torn off ear. 
At first, I was overcome by panic. Was this the first manifestation of the illness? Of course, that was impossible, for I had fortified my immunity with powerful spells. Upon further consideration, I concluded it was an altogether natural reflex, one even the most learned among us find hard to restrain. We mages like to, like to be listened to. I placed the black rat in a separate cage. The time will come for it to play a part in the tests. Meanwhile, it can keep me company and observe. I've noticed it looks w with great concentration at the cages of its infected brethren, particularly those in the last stages of illness. Fascinating. Speaking of company, I have none besides a black rat. I cannot hope for better. As Rod avoids the laboratory and has expressed his desire for his daughter to steer clear of me as well, at first I thought he feared a moral scandal which would be risible in the extreme, but he explained the true reason in due course. It seems Annabelle has always possessed a fragile psyche, psychic constitution. Observing the ill might throw her into a power of humor. The peasants taking part in this video have stopped speaking to me. I don't know what they believe this little act of defiance will serve. It does me no harm. They made for lousy conversation partners. There remains, of course, the woman. But as for her, I try to limit my contact. Day 362. My black rat has died. Today I find him curled up in his cage. I suspected he had become infected on accident. But during the autopsy, I did not uncover any signs of illness. He was also perfectly well fed. Strange. From a medical point of view, his death remains unexplained. Something which, I must admit, irritates the scholar me. But as mentioned previously, I'm not particularly fond of rats. So that's part two. I wonder if there's more. Definitely want to find more if there is more. That's just the glow of Kate or the tubes you were using, I'm assuming, to distill the crap you were working with. It doesn't look like there's any more here. I wonder if there's more down here. I didn't find any more, but then again, before when I was searching through the area, I didn't have any reason to believe that there was pages of notes to find. So there might be now. That does not appear to be any on this floor. So I've released the curse in this area, and I found some research notes. I don't know if there are any like actual like full research notes that he's done, or if I have them all. going to make a one final pass through the place to make sure I haven't missed any hidden research notes. As we head down into this, there's still that locked door I don't know how to get into. Maybe Kira has the key for it. If I go back and talk to her about the place, that I've lifted the curse. But this door is locked, or it was, and there's no, like, I don't have a key for it, and I haven't discovered... Oh, I missed the chest, apparently. I haven't discovered a key for it in this place, but then again, oh, that's right, there was a second door. I missed the door. Apparently all the herbs have grown back. There was another door around the side. Yes, this door. I don't know where this goes to, or where this leads. So this door. It's also locked. So I'm assuming it's the same room, just multiple areas. Or multiple entrances to the same room. That's... So, there's the actual entrance. I'm going to be using the fast travel system once more to get around. So I just need to talk to Kira, and I don't need to take forever to travel that distance. Um, up here. So, mid-cups. Go right back there. And Kira should be on the outskirts of 
this place, so it is behind me. Ah, but there's a blacksmith in town. I can actually get my gear repaired and sell Every some of things. Of the things. It's an armor. You ain't safe unless you got a Gabrielle. The auto crank one handed Gabrielle ensures you get the first shot and the last word. It's a nice sales pitch. Uh, what do you got? Let me have a look at your stock. So I'm going to be getting rid of pretty much every item that isn't an upgrade. Until you run out of money. Which will probably happen quite quickly. Because you usually don't have a lot on you. Oh, I can finally use that better crossbow. I can't sell that blade because you don't have enough money for it. And you don't have enough... Oh, we're just shy. So, let's see here. I need you to... A craft, I need you to repair. Oh, you should have more than enough money to sell stuff to me now. That cost me 200 gold. Let's get a lot of that back by selling that blade. And then we'll sell off the bind blinders I'm not using because I already have multiple copies. Saddle I'm not using, because I have another copy. That should lighten my load a lot. Oh, brilliant. Oh, treasure maps. Uh, Griffoff's first map. Griffoff's second map. So I'm definitely going to be picking up those. That's right, I need to be on the lookout for those maps. Anything useful for alchemical ingredients I might get? Nothing that I can think of at the moment. Uh, nothing that I remember. You will sell. It's not worth anything. Right. Anything useful I can get crafted. Chest armor. Bounty hunters. Gamberson. It is significantly more armor. It is light armor. Light armor, so an increased armor and stamina regeneration. This focuses more on light attacks. But you're the highest... Oh, there's also an archer's garrison, which is also light armor. There's light gear, light gear... So I can only make a whole bunch of light armor, it seems, except for the warrior's leather jacket, which is medium armor. Well, anything that I can make at the moment. But that uses also a lot of money, so I don't think I'll be doing that. Unless it's just, well, they're probably significant upgrades, but I can hold off. Trousers! I think I just got the tracker trousers. Hmm. But I can't wear them yet, so we're good. So long. And that should have also given me Wait. access to the treasure hunt quests for... didn't. Oh, that's right, I have to actually read them. Quest items. Uh, the first map. After being recruited by Professor Slokov S. Atimistein to join his research group, I began to stu a study of the Griffin School of Witchers. So yeah, this should start me off on the Witcher's path. Or the Griffin School gear. That should give me a whole bunch of quests for that. So, Griffin Gear, Part 1. Oh, these are the upgrades. Part 2. So, the Griffin School Gear is in Novgorod, so that's here. What I really want is the Bear School. So, I'll have to, in the intervening week, I will have to look up where I can find that uh, start. Uh, I would hit but the spot. Definitely going to be going back to Kira Metz in order to complete this quest. She might have more. She might have the key I can use to get into that area. Not exactly certain, but I'm hoping. I did find some of his journal, but not. I don't think I found all of it. Again, there's that locked door. 
I'm not. I need to go a bit more north. Ah, and the winds are howling. The pine trees are waving and I really just enjoy walking through this game many numerous, numerous times. Because the atmosphere is just fast. It's fundamentally awesome. Amazing. Kira! There you are. Geralt, just when I was starting to miss you. Why do you want the... Why do you want a magic lamp? The mage from the Isle, tell me about him. Uh, yeah, let's tell me about the tell mage. Tell me more about this mage from the Isle. Were you two close? Never expected you'd take such an interest in my private life. More interested to know if you bonded as fellow magic practitioners. Oh, we had little in common in that arena. Oh, Alexander was one of those anxious experimenters, forever short on sleep. The kind that thinks perfect happiness is an isolated tower and a full set of vials and alembics. Yeah, he was an experimenter. I mean, his research also was frowned upon, probably. Why do you want the lamp? You just witnessed why. To communicate with lost souls. Didn't know you were interested in that kind of magic. There's nothing wrong with it. Mm-hmm. Why'd the elf promise you the lamp? We traded for it. He needed powerful magic and sensed I was no common wart charmer. I brewed him a potion. To delay nervous tissue degeneration, stave off memory loss or some such. Hmm. Who'd he want to use it on? He didn't say. Oh, I got rid of the curse. Spike Isle's free of its curse. Able to persuade Graham to go to the tower with you? Did you mention there was a pester involved? He knew the risks, but he'd also heard lots of stories about true love, whose kiss can break any spell. Can't help thinking that gave him courage. And? It ended well? Depends how you look at it. Curse is lifted, Annabelle's spirit is left in peace. But Graham's dead. Oh, poor boy. Still, he's proved that true love may be more common than some suppose. So, uh... What do you want to do with the lamp? The lamp? What do you want to do with it? As I said, you may keep it. I don't believe I shall need it anymore, given the isle's been cleansed. I actually regret not going there with you. Perhaps we can make up for that lost time now. So, Alexander was doing some weird research. One thing's bothering me. What? Annabelle said Alexander was studying diseases. She mentioned Catriona. You knew this? All the mages knew about it. Alexander was a highly regarded epidemiologist. I would have given anything for an opportunity to study his notes, but he guarded them jealously. Hmm. Apparently I All right. don't have all Time I was on my way. Perhaps, perhaps you'd stay just a bit longer? There's one small favor you might yet do for me. What is it? I put in an order for a few substances from Novigrad. The trader was due to be here yesterday, but has yet to arrive. Could you see what happened? The package is rather important to me. Alright, I'll look into it. Why not? If he was coming here from Novigrad, he must have passed through Black Bow. I'll check the area. Oh, thank you. I shall be ever so grateful. <sighs> oh, seems I'm now checking on a parcel for her. Favor for a friend. So, where is that exactly? Ah, it's up here. So, hmm, there's a lot of little areas to check along the way. Why not? Come on, Roach. You're in need. I'm in need of you. Uh, we'll head out directly west. Hit up some of these and just kind of head north from there. Take the, basically the main road from her house. And head west for a little while. This is west, right? It's probably south. Nope, it is west. So we'll just go directly west. Head up here and hit some of the points of interest along our way. And it can. Pathetic. Just deal with you. And 
deserters. Oh, you could block them as much as you want. Is that it? Very large bandit camp. Oh well. Point of interest nonetheless. Magic blade. And a little bit of loot. Not very good bandits, are they? Oh well. People will be well off rid of them. Definitely head. Yes, this was our location to head north from here. That'll be fine. No, we'll hit the one on the south, just to be complete. It's just to complete this area a little bit. Another bandit camp. Ooh, apparently there's a slew of bandits. Ow, stop walking away! And you're dead? Yeah, more like you're dead. Ah, there's an archer. Ow. Ah, deserter leader. Wow. That's a nice thing to say to a person. You're dead. No, realistically, you're going to die. And I think I'm picking up. Nope, cut you in half. <laughs> All right, I cut you in half. So you died. Master item. Oh, might as well. I need the money. Oh, not too much to your guys' name, but there's a sack full of goodies. Cover boots. Ooh, a dwarven blade. Um, that should be another alchemical ingredient. What's that over there? Oh, it's a tower. Hmm. Is that the bandit camp proper? Oh. What the hell? Are you making a effigy to a bird god or some weird thing like that? Ah, the hangman's venom has run out. So, we'll put the hangman's oil back on. No, it should be one wrapped in cloth. Rope. Okay, so it's the green one wrapped in cloth. It's the hangman's venom. There should be definitely things to loot about as well, so... Bandit camps are quite nice to hit up. And there's just a few of you. Refugees can... Renegade. You die in agony. And definitely going to be dealing with the bowman first. Be God, farewell. Oh, I missed you. Need to find no. the other bowman. You're over here. All together, now. Yeah. Now you're being protected. You're dead. Alright. Let's see if we can't circle about and deal with the archers. Nope, I don't want to be up here. I do not want to be up here. Alright. I think there is. Yes, there's one more crosswoman in the back. One, one more crosswoman, one more, a few more people. No. You die in agony. No, thank you. Okay, bandit leaders over there. Just run you out of stamina and take you out. I accidentally lit up the barrel. Yeah. Oh, I could use a 
more stamina regeneration. Die in agony. No, you just died.